Suffolk's are multiplying. Got another one from an auction today, just up the road. Uh, it was 15 quid in the end. It does run. Should be able to start her up. decarbonising, I had a look at the spark plug hole, it's pretty bloody rank in there. So I'm going to do that now and also sort out the governor because she's not settling down to idle. But, oh yeah, other than that, pretty good. Well we've got the cylinder head off to reveal probably the best internals to a Suffolk engine I've ever seen. No play. Yeah this is going to be quite a good engine. Doesn't look like she's been apart before but there is some carbon build up so I'm I am glad I took the head off. So we'll decarbonise it now and put it back together. Got to sort out a little bit with the governor spring, but I think it's better now. Let's just test that. Yeah, I think it'll work. <clears throat> the only problem I have noticed with it is a. Uh, chipped thin I think I saw yeah there it is but I don't think that's going to affect its running so it should be fine there so I'm just going to decarbonise it now put it back together and run it up again so there you go the Suffolk engine is cleaned up so's the head we're going to fold it all back down now put it back together and fire up so what she runs like now Suffolk's all back together after being decarbonised so we're going to go for that first start up now after the job and see what she runs like. See if the eye is any lower now. Well. Pretty nice condition grass box. A little bit split at the top there, but it's not rotten through anywhere. It's a little bit bent. But I don't know, I might see if I can flog that and maybe flog the base as well. I'm not entirely sure. Who knows? But the engine is definitely a sound runner. Yeah, probably. 